So welcome to another video on Aisha's Academy. And today we're learning about prime factors and factor trees. So let's go. So when it comes to prime factors, reason why I've highlighted them in red, they are factors that are prime numbers. So examples of prime numbers can be two, seven, three, 5, 11, and so on. So to work out prime factors, we use factor trees. And this is why I've highlighted them in green. <laughs> so example one, if you have 12, you need to think of multiples of 12. So for example, we could have three and four. So circle your prime factors just so you remember them. So because three is a prime number, we're gonna circle it. But because four isn't, we need to break it down even more. So that can be broken down to two and two. So because two is a prime number, we can circle these. And so the way that you would write your answer would be three times two squared. And you're squaring the two because there's two lots that you found. Or there's other ways that you can do it. So again, if we have 12, And so factors of that could be two and six. Again, two is a prime number, so we're gonna circle that. But six isn't, so we need to break it down further. So that could be broken down into three and two again. And notice how you still have the same answer. So it doesn't matter um, which route you take, as long as you get the same answer. So another example, if we have 90, so we're gonna think of multiples of 90. So you could have 10 and nine. So then break down 10 further and you could have five and two because five times two is 10. And so we need to also circle these because they're prime numbers. So we stop there in terms of that but then in terms of nine, we need to break that down. So we know that three times three is nine. And because three is a prime number, we can circle that. So then your final answer would be five times two times three squared. So example three, if you have 56, so multiples of 56, you could have seven, and eight. So seven is a prime number, so we're gonna circle that. Break down eight further. So you could have four and two. Two is a prime number, so we're gonna circle that. And then you can break down four further into two and two, and we can circle those. So this is why they're called prime factor trees, because it forms a kind of tree shape. So your answer would be seven times two cubed because you've got three lots of two. So example four, last example. If you have 72, we can break that down into two. So two is a prime number, so we can circle that, and 36. So if we also break down 36 further, you could have six times six, but then again, we need to break down the sixes further into three and two, and same with the other six. So notice that the end of your prime factor trees, they need to be prime numbers. So if you circle all those prime numbers, just so you don't forget any, Your final answer would be two cubed, because you've got three lots of two, times three squared, because you've got two threes. So I hope that made sense in terms of factor trees, nice and simplified video with examples. If you enjoyed this video, please, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And please comment for any recommended videos you would like. Thanks for watching.